First power down the printer by pressing the power button on the control panel. Once the print engine is turned off, then turn off the main power switch. Lift the lid. Remove the first black cartridge. This will allow you to see the access hole. Using a long flat bladed screwdriver, lower the maintenance station and move the print head to the left. For more detailed information about this step, please review the maintenance video. Now replace the black ink cartridge. Remove the two black E-clips from the damper retainer shaft. Be sure not to damage any of the plastic parts. Next, slide the damper retainer shaft out of the way. Loosen the screw on the tube clamp. Peel back some of the tube carrier cover. You may now place the cover out of the way. Using a flat bladed screwdriver, lift off the appropriate damper. Be careful that the screwdriver only contacts the hard white plastic as shown. Next, inspect the damper for clogged ink or damage to the diaphragm. Also notice the condition of the O-ring on the bottom of the damper. Unscrew the brass nut from the damper. Now pull off the ink tube. The O-rings should not be touched by your bare hands because the oils and skin can prematurely damage them. Attach the new damper by attaching the ink tube and replacing the brass nut. Lubricate the bottom of the dampers with cleaning solution before reattaching them to the post. Now place the damper back onto its post. We will now replace the damper retainer. Note the dampers need to fit in the parallel grooves on the bottom of the damper retainer. You may need to readjust the dampers so that the retainer fits correctly. Once the cover is on, slide forward so that the holes for the retainer shaft will align. Reinsert the retainer shaft. The shaft should slide in easily. If it doesn't, recheck the damper alignment with the grooves on the bottom of the damper retainer, then replace the eclipse. Close the tube carrier cover. Then close and tighten the tube clamp. Then power on the printer. The print head will now return to the maintenance station and damper replacement is complete.